Hi, my name is Lijo Jos Pelisiri. I am here to talk about uh, the climax of my film Angamali Diaries. It's a 11 minute uh, long single take. Do do na na do na na parinde bhar gaye uda. Uh, when you start the scene, uh, you can see that when there's a fireworks trolley which is there, which is a normally the clubs there uh, in Angamali they organize these fireworks uh, during uh, church festivals. Uh, so uh, it's a firework thing which is going to about to start. That's what you are seeing. So it's it's basically getting the audience to the scene. Basically, when the, you you don't feel like you're watching a cinema. I mean, that was that was the idea behind. Uh, this long take so what we did was uh, initially uh, it was like in the daytime we went with our actors the dop and our our basic core team so that uh, street was uh, like empty in the morning so we just uh, structured the entire choreography of the sequence so where to stop where to move uh, i mean what should happen where where should the uh, the fight uh, happen all this we we started improvising with only these actors so basically it was not even a rehearsal with the crowd so we didn't know I mean, how it will be when the crowd come in in the evening. So we just practiced it like that when the camera movement with a, with a normal phone we practiced it. When in the evening when the crowd came in, so the, the real fear, when the real hang of the entire thing we got. It wasn't that easy like as it looked in the, in the afternoon like a empty street. The best thing happened in the shoot was uh, movie 10. Movie 10 is an alternative for Steadicam. Uh, Steadicam, uh, Steadicams we used to use for to get a, a moving shot in a steady form. But now we have uh, a much more uh, easier equipment to handle. Movie 15 is much more uh, compact in terms of handling. So it's uh, since it was a very long take, like 11 minutes. So uh, the cam weighs around like two uh, more than two kgs, and this equipment again. So it's basically around uh, proper four to five kgs of uh, weight, which uh, the cameraman uh, will be handling. So the initial ten minutes, it was like normally moving with the characters. <laughs> But then halfway through it gets into a brawl and uh, when the characters start running and uh, that is a difficult part it is like you have to follow the the character and he, uh, the characters should not go out of the frame and you are moving through massive crowds who are not at all controllable like when you can't you don't have any control on the, the crowd they'll they'll just move in and out there is just one instance where you can see the camera hit on someone's uh, shoulder and uh, so what happens in the uh, in the equipment is like uh, the camera is uh, basically hung in the center of uh, the equipment and uh, so once it is hit on uh, a object it will it will take a while to balance itself uh, to the center the crowd was stretching from one point of the street to the other point of the street so we had these loudspeakers uh, which was uh, hoisted in e each post lamp and so whichever instructions we give so we we knew that the the, the crowd has uh, the characters have moved from this house to that house this place to this place so we'll instruct it like that. So now we, you you be attentive. I mean, uh, the characters are moving to your place. Please be, uh, please don't look into the camera. I mean, the, the camera is coming behind. No, let uh, please not uh, hit on the camera. I mean, we have to cut the shot if if you hit on the camera. Initially, we had planned a stunt artist who will come out of the fire and will fall in front of. So basically, I mean, uh, both these guys will run into the fire, like uh, run to. The close vicinity of fire, they'll have a fight. Marangoti Sijo, who's the negative guy, uh, he's kicked into the fire. So when, after he being kicked into the fire, I mean, we literally 
go round the main guys and come behind uh, the main guys so that we'll see the stunt artist coming from the fire uh, outside. So that was a plan. So but it didn't work like that because uh, it looked so odd when the stunt artist did it. It wasn't looking real at all. So we had to remove uh, the fire artist and till the kick we shot and uh, we, we revolved uh, into the fireball. So which we later, later added a layer of fire and uh, a structure passing through the fire later in the in the film. So finally, uh, I remember when um, we finished the shot, uh, DOP was literally, I mean, he just fell down, like because he, he couldn't hold the cam, he couldn't like literally stand up. When we were checking the shot, it, it was like all, like we were breathing in and out, like so heavy, everyone. I, I still find a lot of flaws, but when I, I find it like, this is what the best uh, we could make it on that day. And uh, I was so happy and I said, uh, Great, I think we've got it. Uh, if you like this episode of Inside a Scene, uh, please subscribe uh, Film Companion for more videos.